the Mazda Road to uh, 24 Shootout has been going on since 2006. We've uh, each year provided a $100,000 scholarship to uh, one grassroots racer to uh, help them compete in the following season's MX-5 Cup Championship. We're looking for the top talent uh, in North America to ultimately identify and retain within the Maserati 24 lap. iRacing provides uh, some of the most talented drivers a platform to build their skill set like no other, no other technology out there. Certainly, many of our top uh, professional drivers use the iRacing platform and they'll compete against some of the most talented drivers in the world. Um, so our partnership ultimately helps us to identify uh, some of the most talented individuals uh, around. Uh, through the iRacing partnership, we're able to, uh, to uniquely identify um, some of the very, very best. And uh, hopefully, uh, we'll find uh, some of the untapped uh, gems uh, in the world. I started sim racing, uh, I started off in consoles. When you get real serious, you have to move up the simulations. So in 2010, I started on iRacing and uh, began developing myself as a simulation driver more and more, competing against the best guys. I started iRacing in 2012. It was introduced to me by Dylan Murcutt. He's my good friend. I used to go over to his house and stuff, just do offline iRacing. One day, we hooked up to my internet, which could support the online stuff. And pretty much ever since then, I was like, okay, I need to get this. I really love the MX-5, just how the competition is just really tight in there. It's really cutthroat and, and fun. I've done some interviews for the shootout, and uh, I think they've gone really well. Uh, better than I would have, have thought, but they are very intense um, conversations with uh, high-level Mazda uh, representatives. Uh, the person who wins the uh, Mazda Road 24 shootout is going to have to be very well-rounded, not only in uh, their driving ability, but off the track uh, efforts. It's the value that you can provide your partners. Ultimately, it's, it's the sponsors and the partners that help the driver continue up the ladder. I'm pretty calm for the on-track stuff. I, I feel like I'll do really well on that. We'll see how it turns out, but <laughs> I feel confident about it. Surprisingly not nervous at the moment, but I mean, when I wake up in the morning, I'm sure it's gonna be a lot different when I'm strapped into the car, ready to go. So we're driving the new 2016 uh, MX-5 Cup car and uh, nobody's driven it yet. We've been developing the 2016 Global Mazda MX-5 Cup cars on track and through computer simulations for the last eight months. These uh, eight drivers are going to be able to drive uh, the only two that exist currently in the world. So I think that might actually be an advantage for us as a sim driver. I think we're on a track uh, that nobody knows in uh, Carolina Motorsports Park, and we're in a car that nobody knows. So it, it gives me not so much of a disadvantage coming into a race like this. Yeah, I just got out of the car. I was kind of actually nervous going out there because the conditions look pretty, uh, pretty bad out there. But the car's got a ton of grip. The gearbox is seamless and uh, it just handles fantastic. Yeah, I feel, I feel a lot better now after that warm up. So next we're gonna do a 20 minute session and it'll be judged. And we'll come in and do data uh, based on that session and see where we can improve, uh, talk about how the car handles. They're gonna judge us on how we interpret the car and how we interpret the data. So I think I'm, I'm still learning out there, but uh, I think my times are reasonable and I can feel a lot of time in the car. Uh, so. My next couple of sessions I'm going to start pushing really hard and uh, hopefully I can uh, put a good time up there. The first session was pretty good, I was still taking it you know, pretty easily. It's kind of slippery out there but it's not too bad. And then we went over the data, all my braking points and everything are good, I'm getting to the power where I need to. The only thing that I need to work on is I need to uh, come off the brake a bit sooner. I um, went over the data from the last session with uh, the data coach, Andrew Carbonell, and he gave me some pointers out there. I think I applied what he said okay. Uh, it presented some new problems for me that I had to work around. The day was challenging. Uh, the weather conditions varied throughout the day. In the afternoon, they got even more, more difficult. Rain really came down much harder. As you can see right now, it's, it's coming down. Uh, the impressive thing is the uh, competitors, they all got quicker in almost every single section tells us they're learning. The judges will uh, convene uh, this evening. We're gonna make a decision on whether we have a clear winner or 
we need to bring back a select few to run tomorrow morning to gather more data and then make the decision. They uh, announced that me and Mark Drennan would be the final two. I'm really excited today. I'm ready to compete for the final outright win. So this morning, we're going to put them out for two different sessions, and we're going to be doing some data review in between, and then at the end of those two sessions, we're going to have to make a decision. It certainly won't be an easy one. Got to go fast, yeah. Got to uh, be consistently fast. That's really the, the goal here. Of course, you can't drop wheels or throw it off the track. That's critical. If you do, you're pretty much out. Uh, but the important thing is to find really good pace, uh, but it has to be consistent pace, uh, a whole bunch of fast laps stringed together. So just going to try to improve every lap and, uh, and make sure that I don't make any major mistakes. I'm just excited to be here, ready to uh, go up against Mark Drennan, who's like the spec Miata ace. And, uh, you know, really nice guy, and I think he'll be a really strong competitor out there. And uh, I wish him the best, but uh, you know, I gotta beat this guy. So <laughs> we'll see how it goes. I had a great day today. I think um, we put in consistent laps. Uh, we applied what the uh, data coaches were telling us and uh, had some quick lap times. So I think that's what they were looking for and uh, I hope it's enough uh, to get me through. I feel comfortable. I won't be sleeping very well the next couple of nights, but um, I'm just really happy to have come here and had fun. I really had a great time the whole time. Either outcome, um, I think I'm gonna make uh, the most of what I've learned from it. So it's been a great experience. We had eight great competitors over the three-day period. Uh, certainly surpassed our expectations. With all of our Mazda competitors, it's our hope that, that we can continue to foster the relationship. But we just want to see these young uh, drivers succeed. However it happens, we're here to help. We can't wait to see Glenn on track next year and see how he can compete in the Battery Tender MX-5 Cup Series. Everybody here at iRacing is pulling for